Hi there, welcome to MJ Feng Shui. And today we are going to talk about your life purpose. And what does your life purpose have to do with Feng Shui? Believe it or not, a lot. So we're going to look at your um, home right now. And we are going to go into each and every room looking at your clutter, number one. What is clutter? Clutter is a bunch of items, a bunch of negative energy accumulating in a space. What does that do? It can do a lot of negative things in your life, depending on what area or areas that clutter is in. So take a look at your home today and look at where the clutter is accumulating. Most people have a room and it's basically full with some kind of clutter and a lot of people that I speak with are afraid to get rid of those items for some reason or another they have a story why they must keep those items and we have to ship that okay in order to change their life so today what is your life purpose and what does it have to do with feng shui and clutter so let's look at this more deeply together let's start with books okay how many books do you have number one what is the purpose of having all those books okay where are these books are they on a bookshelf in a nice order or they scattered around the home. Do you have more than one book on your bedside table? All right, this brings confusion, okay? Confusion is what we're talking about today. You're confused about your life purpose. So if there's confusion energy building up in your home, that has a lot to do with it. Now think about this. Walk into your kitchen. What belongs in the kitchen? right? Cooking items like pots and pans and the spatulas. Okay. They belong in the kitchen. The silverware belongs in the kitchen. The cups and the plates belong in the kitchen. Okay. What is in your kitchen? All right. Look around. Are there papers and bills and um, pens and pencils scattered all around? Uh, toys? Look around your kitchen, see how many items you have accumulated and what is the purpose of each item in your kitchen. Let's start there because the kitchen is the heart of the home, the heart of the family, okay? That energy is also your biggest health energy in your home. Although there are health sectors in the house for each and every person and one for the house itself okay now looking at your kitchen all right what is on your stove all right what is on top of your refrigerator okay what is the purpose of these items okay do you have pots and pans that you never use all right do you have pots and pans that are all scratched up plates that are broken and cracked same with cups coffee cups all right, what is the purpose of those? And what kind of energy are they bringing into your health of you and your family? Okay, look at that, okay? Now, that is what we're looking at, the purpose. You're looking at your life purpose. You're bringing confusion energy into your space. When you are confusing the kitchen with dumping your toys, dumping your bills, dumping your clutter, right? So that brings confusion. So you would have an energy of confusion in your kitchen. So your kitchen and the overall health and well-being of your family would be confused. So even when people walk into your space, they would feel confused by looking at your different items in that space all right on on the kitchen walls what pictures do we find there okay does it have to do with abundance 
okay? Like pictures of fruit is a great thing to have in the kitchen and dining room, okay? That's um, one of the items we'll talk about today. Go in your bedroom. How much clutter do you have under your bed? In your closet? Is there actually space in your closet? Okay. What is the purpose of all those clothes? When is the last time you actually wore those items? Okay. That brings confusion and it also stops a partner from being able to come in. You got to have space in your dresser drawer for a partner. You got to have space in your closet, okay, for a partner. All right, think about that. Is your bed in the right position? All right, if not, it can bring a lot of negative energy into your romance, right, into your relationships. What's on the walls in there? All right, look around at your space. What's in your bedroom? Exercise equipment, computers, cell phones, all these items do not belong there. They will bring confusion because what is a bedroom for? Sleeping and romance. Is there room in your bedroom, okay, for romance? All right. If your bed is pushed against the wall, all right, the energy doesn't allow good feng shui in a relationship. It pushes somebody against a wall where they feel like they are squished and crushed, okay? And the relationship usually doesn't last, okay? So we're going to look at the confusion in your space today and what it has to do with your life purpose. So if you're confused about what you're supposed to be doing in your life, why you are here, you're not alone. And the reason could very well be hiding right in your house. And once we remove that confusion energy, your mind will clear up, all right? Your life will start to clear up, okay? Now, you're not alone when you have clutter, all right? Every person has some kind of clutter, okay? They could save old bills, old photos, old items, all right? They could be a collector of items, all right? So it forms a clutter. If it's in its right space, it may be okay, all right? But overdoing it, okay, is not a good thing, okay? Because then you get anxiety as well, all right? Look at your house right now, and you either go, oh, my space is nice, or, ugh, all right, you're talking to me, all right, I wanted to clean out that room, and every time I go there, I'm like, ugh, it brings your vibration down, so how can you have peace, all right, in your space, this is the space where we have been, you know, staying in for about three years now, spending more time in there, so we had a lot of time to adjust the energy there. So what room is your most cluttered room? Start there today. All right. Also look at it. All right. If it is your um, office. All right. Look at your desk. What's on your desk? Papers all over, cups, drinks, old plates, forks and spoons. You know, you are confusing your mind. You're confusing the energy in your office and it's confusing to you to, you know, engage in your business, all right? Because you're sitting there going, what should I do now? How should I do this? All right. So it brings that confusion. So a fork and a plate and a cup do not belong staying on your desk, all right? Where should you be eating? What is the table for? right? Why do you have a kitchen table and chairs? That's where we eat, okay? Even if you live alone, you should not be eating, okay, in the bathroom. You shouldn't be eating in your office, all right? That is confusion. Most people now sit in front of the TV, okay, 
and they munch on things. That's fine. Clean it up, all right? Where does it go when you're done, all right? The bag of chips and the cookies and the cups and the forks and plates and all that don't belong staying in the TV room, all right? The TV room is for family gathering, all right? And watching, you know, certain TV shows that you like or movies. And I hope that they are positive, all right? Staying away from the drama because that brings a lot of negative energy, all right, into your home. So are you confused about what your life purpose is? Like I said, it's hiding in your home. It is definitely in there. And once you clear out what is confusing in your space, you will have a better idea and more clarity on what you are to be doing. The confusion will leave within a few hours, within a few days. Believe me, it works. Feng Shui works. It has a purpose. The energy has a purpose. So what is the energy of confusion doing in your space to you? It is dragging you down. It's holding you back. It's sabotaging your life, okay, in more ways than one. Now think about this. Does your car, okay, belong in the garage or does it belong on the roof? All right, what kind of confusion would that bring to you and your neighbors? All right, think about that. If you have a beautiful house with a beautiful garage and you never put your car in the garage, you put it on the roof. You have this drive thing that goes up on the roof. You're thinking it's cool, man, right? It's confusion. Even your car is confused. Your house is confused. You would be condensing your energy and crushing your life down, okay? And people would be looking at you like you are weird, okay? And not only that, you know, the garage is saying, I am here to support your protection of your vehicle. What is your home here to do? It is supporting you, okay, protecting you from the elements, okay, from bugs, right, as well. And it is to help you, okay, believe it or not. So is your house helping you? Are you helping your house? You see, you must work together with the space that you are living in, regardless of what has been happening in your life so far since living there. We can change it by using feng shui in the right way. So feng shui is a practice that I have adapted to several years ago, and I started seeing major results in my life. On this channel here, we have many videos for you, and it is growing, okay? And I would love if you would subscribe right now. Press the like button. We're going deeper for you. We're going to support you every way possible, okay? And I would love it if you would join me in my Facebook group. MJ Feng Shui. Very simple. Just go over to your Facebook if you have Facebook and join my group. All right. And start commenting there. You can add your questions there. All right. I will answer you quickly. The same with underneath these videos. I will answer you. I also have a website, mjfengshui.com. You can hop over there and check out my home whispering course and it is extensive it covers every aspect of feng shui all right from the address the number the meaning of your house all right what is the purpose of your home okay with the address uh, um what is the correct direction for you and your family to live in what homes should you actually be moving into buying okay selling all right things like this why is in your house selling 
come to me. I will help you. I had a real estate agent. She had her house on the market for seven years. All her other houses were selling with no problem. Her husband said, I'm sorry, I cannot stay in this house. The energy is not good for me. He went off and bought another home. All right. And he said to her, as soon as you sell this home, I'll take you back. All right. So she was struggling seven years and she came to me and I told her, send me the photos, video, you know, and we worked one on one and within one week, the house sold seven years on the market. Okay. Could not sell it. All right. I showed her why immediately. Okay. And she took action. So we need to take action for our own selves. And how do we do that if we are confused? Okay. So let's get unconfused. All right. Let's start taking our action for ourselves. All right. What is it that you would love to be doing? And why aren't you doing it? All right. There is a story there of confusion, of fear. Okay. It stresses you out. All right. Why? Let's dive into that. All right. Into that story. And let's clear up the confusion. So look around your home. All right. Is your house confused? Are you confused when you come in that house? All right. Why is that chair in the bathroom? All right. All right. Think about that. Go in other people's homes. Look around. How do you feel when you go in there? There was only one home that I've ever been in in my entire life where I said, this is the most comfortable home I have ever been in in my entire life. All right. And I looked into it and the house was full of activity, screaming, yelling, kids running around, dogs barking, chaos going on in the kitchen. Okay. The energy is what I felt. I feel the energy. All right. I can see what's going on. All right. I can tell you that this is real and this works. All right. Many people don't understand the feng shui. All right. They understand clutter, of course. All right. Is there a bunch of books all over the floor? Do you have clothes piled up? All right. In the laundry room. All right. It's sabotaging your energy. All right. The laundry room is for cleaning your clothes. All right. So if the clothes are thrown all over the floor and they're dirty, when you open the laundry room door, that hits you in the face, how heavy the energy is in here. Right? Yes. The bathroom, the same thing. What's going on in your bathroom? Right? Look at your bathroom. Is it clean? Is it full of clutter, full of makeup and all that, you know, stuff that you would just pile in the bathroom. Go to a hotel and look at the bathroom. It feels nice in there, doesn't it? It's got a soap, a washcloth on the sink, you know, maybe a couple shampoos, little ones, right? A couple towels and that's it, All right? That's a nice energy. Then you feel like I'm on vacation here, right? So this is what we want you to feel like in your space, that you are on a peaceful retreat. So let's work on that this week. It may feel like a lot for you. You may need to call somebody in to help you clean. And that is fine. All right. I used to clean houses for a living. I think I was in training for what I'm doing here. Okay. So my first experience was um, every time we moved and we moved a lot was to be the one left at the new house. All right. And they would bring all the stuff. All right. Truckloads of stuff. And I had to decorate the house. All right. Even moving sofas and chairs and tables into place, putting things together. I was a child being trained up in feng shui and had no idea what I was doing. Now I do. Thank you, universe. Thank you, God. Thank you, angels. All right.
So thank you for being here today. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or put a comment underneath this video. These videos can change your life for the better. There is no reason that you cannot have a peaceful home. There is no reason why you have to be confused about your life purpose. So look around your house. What is the purpose of that? And I'll just say that. If it has no purpose, then get rid of it. All right? If you're not using it right now, then when? Okay? How long has it been? All right? Think about that. That's a good way to look at your space today. Thank you so much for spending 20 min minutes of your time with me today. I will be back again to share a beautiful feng shui video for you. Namaste.